Assalamu alaikum jami'an. Awesome. Jazakum Allah khairan for attending this banquet. Um, I'm very humbled to be given this opportunity to speak about IOK and how it's impacted my campus and myself. Um, my name is Lina Al-Mahdi and I'm currently a fourth year student pursuing my bachelor's in science in nutrition and dietetics uh, with a minor in sociology, again, at California State University, Long Beach. My parents were brought up in Damascus, Syria, where they basically grew up in the masjid. From a very young age, my father studied with Sheikh Abu al-Fadl, may Allah bless him. Every day after school, he would rush to the masjid to memorize Quran, study hadith, and read tafsir. The Muslim American community has a different makeup than the Muslim communities in the East. It's harder to access and speak to scholars because of our school, work, traveling distances, and all other barriers that come with living in a fast-paced world. This has left many young Muslims in our community starved of the knowledge gained from speaking to individuals well-versed in the sciences of Islam. So what IOK has done is truly remarkable. They have created a system where all barriers of proximity are eliminated, and chaplains come to university campuses to lead study circles and meet with students one-on-one. -on -one. And I could speak for my campus in particular, these services have and will continue to change the fibers of the Muslim American community for the better. Because IOK is mentoring and creating the generation of Muslim leaders, leaders that will be guided by Islamic principles because they were exposed to scholars that, have, that helped shape and inform their ideologies, activism, and worldview. I currently serve as the MSA president at my campus, as well as the student body vice president, and cannot stress how heavily Chaplin has impacted my leadership. I know I would not be the same person had I not been exposed to IOK my second year of college. I remember the first time I heard of IOK was when the MSA president at the time, Yasmin Azam, had informed us of this really cool opportunity to have a chaplain uh, come to our campus. She began to advocate for the service to be available on our campus, and we were blessed to be able to work with Sheikh Jamil for two years, and now we are also blessed to be working with Sheikh Ahmed. Ever since then, I have been a regular attendee of the study circles and have frequently utilized office hours. When we have study circles where people are so engaged they dread going to their classes and wish they could stay longer, that to me is transformative. During the past two years, I have worked close to 35 hours while maintaining a full-time student status at Cal State Long Beach, but I made sure to schedule my classes in a way that wouldn't conflict with the halaqa times led by our chaplains. That to me is how we enrich the community. By creating a community space for Muslim students on campus that is rooted in the service of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and learning more about our deen. We now have a scholar who is easily accessible to any CSULB student whenever they have doubts, questions, need clarifications, or want to learn more about Islam. We always have conversations about how we can advance the American Muslim community, and that is only possible when we create institutional change. We need to recognize that representation and support transcends beyond advocating on social media or going to protests. Representation occurs when support is institutionalized, when students know that they can turn to a scholar to dispel myths or gain accurate Islamic knowledge at their disposal. And IOK has, mashallah, been successful in providing this institutionalized support that will uplift the community for generations to come. Supporting IOK's mission of providing counseling, seminary, and chaplaincy services for all people in Southern California has literally transformed the lives of countless of college students, young adults, and students of knowledge. In my field of dietetics, we learn to personalize the diets of our patients to ensure we take all variables into consideration. We look at family history of heart disease, body fat percentage, daily caloric intake, food logs, and so on. And IOK operates in a similar manner. Our chaplains come onto our universities and provide books, articles, and discussion topics that are catered to the needs of the students. May Allah continue to shower our chaplains, teachers, students, and scholars at IOK with mercy. Ameen. Jazakumullahu khairan for your time.